you know, the battle of life oftentimes is won or lost in the mind. That's the truth. It's, and it's so simple to say that, but it's absolutely true. I mean, it's here. It, it, many times, our success either comes or goes. It, it goes through our hands, but long before that, it, we already won it or lost it up here. When I was in high school, you, um, I was a wrestler for a short period of time until I hurt my neck. And then I decided I wasn't going to wrestle anymore. And uh, I remember my coach yelling at me, Packer, Packer, control his head. Control his head. Because if you control your opponent's head, you control the match. And that's absolutely true. Do you find that in self-help studies, psych psychological writings, and even inside the scriptures, even inside the, the Jewish writings for us, you find the need for mental focus. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Not who makes more money or who has a better house or a better car or has everything lined up. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. It's won or lost in the mind. I have probably a ton of stories of examples as a speaker um, that I've told everywhere. This one has got to be in the top five. And I think it exemplifies that. Maybe it'll help all of us a little bit. So there's a guy driving country area. He runs out of gas. He saw a farm about a mile and a half from where he ran out of gas. So he checks the trunk. He doesn't have a gas can. So he's thinking, okay. Maybe I can go and get a gas can and then, uh, you know, maybe somebody can give me a ride and I can get some gas and get going. So as he starts walking, his first thought is, man, I hope somebody's home and I hope they have a gas can. Then as he continues to walk, he starts thinking, you know, doubts now creeping in and he says, man, I bet nobody's home. And then he's continuing to walk and he thinks, you know what, I bet they are home. But what if they won't give me a gas can? What if they don't have a gas can? But what if they do have a gas can, but they won't let me use the gas can? And then he's walking, 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 and his mind by now has turned the corner. Now he's going down the hill, full negativity, he says, I bet, I bet they have a gas can, but they're going to take one look at me and they're going to say, this city slicker, I'm not going to help him, uh, not going to give him my gas can, not going to give him a ride to the gas station. I'm not going to help this guy out. And so he gets to the door. He finally gets there. He walks up to the front door. He knocks on the door, and this little sweet grandmother of a woman opens the door, and she says, why, hello, sweetie. How can I help you? And he says, you know what? Keep your gas can. I don't want your help anyway. And he stomps off. Now, he never even asked her, do you have a gas can? Can you help me? Now the guy's stuck in the middle of, you know, backwoods town on a farmer road and has no idea what to do. And he never 
actually asked for help. We don't know. She probably would, maybe could have helped him. But we have no idea. Because in a mile and a half of walking, his mind had already started with, well, they probably have a gas can and they can help me. Two, I hope they have a gas can. Till finally he got there, knocked on the door and said, I don't even want your gas can. He already had it all figured out. Have you ever sat down to talk to somebody, but prior to that, you already had it worked out? I'm going to say this, and they're going to say that, and then I'm going to say this, and then, oh, I bet they're going to say that, and then I'm going to really, you know, the mind is a double-edged sword. It, it can work for us, and it can work against us. But an unstable man or a double-minded man or woman is going to end up being unstable in all of their ways. So it's better to pick a side of the street. More positive than negative. More negative than positive. Pick a side of the street. Just make sure you're going down the right street. Because it's often one or lost. I'm talking to myself here. It's often one or lost right up here in the mind.